Hey y'all, this is Christine at Gillum Farms and welcome back. We have been invited to a collaboration by Ginger at Not For Nothing Homestead and it is saucy September. I'm doing a ginger move here. I am excited because this is the second collaboration I've been invited to with my own channel, Christine, Mrs. Gillum Farms. It's a two-week collaboration running September 16th through September 30th. So be sure and check out each channel. Bunch of great channels, um, some that have been around for a while, some that are new like myself, and so it's pretty exciting. I love this kind of collaboration. I'm a little nervous about this one because I'm going to do something I've never done before. So I'm going to make my first ever chocolate sauce and caramel that sauce. Is that in, getting towards the end of September and the holidays are coming, I wanna work on that. I have a few recipes that I'm gonna be making. One's a apple tort that will be wonderful paired with the caramel sauce. So you're gonna be with me through every step of it. I'm not gonna cut out any bad parts. If it turns out bad, it turns out bad. But um, I'm pretty excited to share this with you. I, when I think of saucy, I think of sassy down here in Oklahoma. So let's get after and get to some sassy, saucy sauce. Okay, we're gonna add our fourth of a cup of butter and let it melt in the pan here. Okay, I just put in a fourth of a cup of butter. We're gonna let that melt. And with that, we're gonna add two ounces of semi or um, unsweetened chocolate. Start with that first, let that get melted. Flames might be too hot. I'm gonna break up the chocolate. fourth of a cup of butter and the two ounces of chocolate over low heat. We're gonna keep stirring this. And then after this is melted, we will slowly add in the sugar, or we will stir in the sugar. Okay, so we're gonna let this melt and get combined. And then I will add the sh sugar and then we will stir in the evaporated milk. I'm gonna add one cup of sugar. I'm gonna to continue to stir. Turn on the light here. This is on a low heat or low flame. Now, I get that all incorporated, I'm going to slowly add in, I'll slowly add in a half a cup of evaporated milk. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the thunder, we're pretty excited that I'm hearing thunder. You can also hear some rain, praise God, we got some rain going on, we need it, hope it gets out there where our cattle are and hits the hay field. Okay. Now we're going to add in I'm gonna add in, slowly, a half a cup of evaporated milk. I'm gonna keep stirring I put this in. In fact, I may just turn off this heat because it's a little, this eye of the stove is a little hotter than the one, so I could give you a good shot of what I'm making here. Okay, so slowly stirring that in. I'm gonna keep stirring. You see it turning that pretty color. The last step as soon as this is done is, well not the last step, but what I'll do is add a tablespoon of vanilla and I've got the best vanilla in the world. Mm-hmm. Jesse says so. I believe him. And he would be right. Getting sassy here, sassy. Look at that sassy chocolate. Chocolate sauce, it's the name of the game. And our electric just went off a little bit ago, so I'm gonna 
going to be timing this on my phone. So we're gonna bring you back after the 15 or the five minutes is over. I'll bring I'll put in the vanilla and then we'll go from there. Okay, if you notice, um, it's been cooking about four minutes, almost five minutes of cooking. Is, so now I'm gonna add the one tablespoon of vanilla. We get all sassy. And we're talking good, good vanilla. Yes, indeed. Let's get this into the jar without burning me. And then we'll let it cool, and then hopefully we'll be able to um, taste this here in just a little bit. But we'll get started on our second sauce. But here's some beautiful chocolate sauce. Lava, lava. That's when it's stuck on the side. Sorry for the noise effects. Or the sound effects. I think it's gonna be a little bit lumpy, and I guess what I could do is strain it. I'm noticing that there's a lot of sugar crystals, and it's probably because I didn't let it cook as long as I probably should have. Rookie mistake. Now this time I am gonna turn it off. Okay, turn it off, let it cool down. Give it a taste here in a minute when it's a cool enough where I can. And then we will jar it up. And I'll bring you back one more to the taste test and the jarring up. Okay, here's my caramel. I have it in a jar here. Once it cools, I'm gonna keep it in the refrigerator, but not until it cools. And then I have my chocolate sauce. So once it cools, I'll keep it with a lid on it and keep it in the refrigerator. It's good for up to two weeks in the refrigerator. Um, when I want to use it, I will have to probably put it back in the oven or in a water bath and let it warm up because it does get pretty well thick. And then the same with the caramel, it's still pretty hot. Um, you, know, you can see it right now, it's still pretty runny, still pretty hot, but it's going to keep thickening up. I'm gonna so. give a taste test of the caramel before it sets up pretty good, which it already is, with the caramel sauce. Got a Granny Smith apple here. I went to resource because I didn't do something right. It still is crystallizing on me. I mean, it's supposed to. Okay, and now I'm gonna try the chocolate um, sauce. I'm gonna just go ahead and try a Granny Smith apple with it. So the chocolate sauce, it is setting up too. Mm. I'm a person who can't handle sugar. Woo, doggy. So the caramel is good, but sweet. I'm hoping I'll work on the dessert that I'm gonna be working on for my security board here in the next couple weeks. And then the chocolate sauce, Surprisingly, I liked it better than the caramel. I'm not a chocolate fan though either, but boy, whew, it'll make a hummingbird go. I'm just not used to sweets and even those two little bites. Pretty got me. Anyway, <laughs> I just want to uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for going through this process with me. I'm brand new to the caramel sauce making and the chocolate sauce making. I'm not sure if I'm a fan or not, to be honest. It's a bit of an experiment for me. Um, I'm sure 
Johnny, my husband, will love it. He likes the sweet. Okay, what I will do is I will, in the description of the video, I will um, put the recipe for the caramel sauce and I will also put the recipe for the chocolate sauce. And leave me a comment, tell me um, what I did wrong. Those of you who are experienced with the uh, making of the sauce, caramel sauce and chocolate sauce. I'm sure I either overcooked it, I'm not sure. Um, I did follow the directions. Maybe I didn't do it as well as I should have. But anyway, um, and I also want to remind you that um, from September 16th to September 30th, and today should be September 20th if you're watching this on the day I release this uh, or post this video, um, you still have quite a few channels um, that you're going to be watching and try some of their sauces. I'm going to go back um, some of the savory sauces, which I'm more of a savory person than sweet, but. It was nice to learn something of what not to do or what I should do next time. So, um, so I'm gonna do. Oh, you got to be kidding me! 